So I managed to get my hands on Legendary Deathstroke. Now you might be asking me, Nerza, how did you get Legendary Deathstroke? <laughs> Arena reward, let's move on. Back in August, my boy Sigvald made a video titled, Deathstroke is the worst character ever designed by Injustice 2 Mobile, exclamation mark, gameplay and quick review. Now my boy Sigvald, he makes some foul claims in this video bro, like first off, my boy spends, I don't know, like 90% of the video just ragging and beating down on my boy Legendary Deathstroke. And then the other, I don't know, like 10% of the video was just him making some slight good remarks about my boy Legendary Deathstroke. Now, are his claims true? Yes. The audio got distorted there. I meant to say no. I'm not going to read all this shit. This shit looks like an essay. Now, in this video, I'll be making a counter argument against this foul video right here. To show you just how good Legendary Deathstroke is, let's just hop into some arena matches, okay? Now, just for the sake of the video, I'll just be rocking this setup. It's pretty good just to showcase a character because you have less power cost and then the opponent has like, I don't know, they have to spend like 10 bars on their special one, so it kind of helps. Alright boys, so one of the claims that Sigvald really, really hammered in was that this man's gameplay mechanics are bad. I'm, I'm just gonna start by, by asking, what the fuck am I playing? Boy, that is terrible. And the swipe attack itself is going to be so awkward that sometimes you randomly do an infinite combo or sometimes you literally get interrupted in the middle of everything that you're doing and you're wondering what you did wrong. It's so awkward and it messes up your gameplay. Like you don't even know the sequence at what point in the sequence of basic attacks are at that point. Let's just see how good these gameplay mechanics are, bro. So, so guys, check, check it out. These gameplay mechanics are really good. So right here. It's really good. It's like really good. Oh my lord, what the f- Okay, so enough of the cap, I'll stop. So, Sigvald's video on Legendary Deathstroke, it's actually quite a funny watch. You guys should definitely watch it. My boy Sigvald just really went in on this guy, and I have to say, his claims are thick. If I'm being quite honest, I think his gaming mechanics are like, like cheetah level, honestly, like brainiac level mechanics, and somehow, somehow, I feel like those cards just looks so much more better in comparison <laughs> with, with this card. Now, Sigvald does talk about all the bad things about this card. He does mention some good things. I'll just start off by talking about like the one really, really good thing he has is his special 2. I think Deathstroke special 2 will be really easy for people in solo raids, raids in general, whatever the hell. Just also remember that the fact that Deathstroke special 2 accounts for the opponent's current health, alright? Just don't get that confused. It accounts for the opponent's current health. I've seen a lot of people on Reddit talk about how you could pair Legendary Deathstroke up with Ko-Am. You could. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that you should just max out your special 2s with your Deathstroke card first and then max out your special 3s for like optimal max damage and raid. Now the only issue I really see with that is that it might be hella time consuming first of all. It's gonna be hella time consuming. You might need to rock a card like Red Hood just to do all those shits that I just mentioned. I don't know how best I can explain this to you guys. Um, just imagine like Brainiac, okay? Like we already know Brainiac's, uh, I don't know, movement system is kind of eh. Um, somehow Brainiac looks way better in comparison when you compare him to Deathstroke. Now, you might be asking me once again, Mirza, what are the actual problems with this card? We'll talk about it right now, actually. I think the main issue with this card is probably the swipes. The swipes are foul. Just so bad. Like, the thing is, his swipes are exactly the same as his third hit. And there's such a, like, thick delay between his swipe attack. And especially, it is especially apparent when you tag in, bro. When you tag in with Deathstroke, you, like, good luck. When you tag in with Deathstroke, <laughs> my boy, good luck with landing anything after that tag in first attack. I feel like this character was just ripped, just like literally ripped from Injustice 1 Mobile. They did barely any optimization for Deathstroke as a card in Injustice 2 Mobile. Keep in mind, this is our first, 
first ever Deathstroke card in this game. Now, people might get this guy confused with Deadshot. I've seen that, but no. When this card was mentioned or like leaked, whatever the hell, a lot of people were worried that he might have the same playset as Deadshot, but I didn't think that was possible because it is Deathstroke we're talking about. That's not the issue here. The issue here is someone at Netherrealm actually approving of this because it's straight ripped out of Injustice 1 Mobile. It feels like that. There's barely any optimizations made for this card to truly be... I don't know, any good in this game. And I, and I feel for the people that actually want to use him for solo raids, leagues, raids, whatever the hell, I feel for those people the hardest because he is viable, all right? I'll say that. He is viable. He has a lot of good stuff going for him, but man, having a garbage playset really brings down the character. It truly just brings down the character a lot. Just hear me out for a second. Humor me. Imagine if Koan had a playset like Legendary Deathstroke. Imagine that for a second. Imagine how awful it must be to use Koam. And you're really, you're truly only using Koam for, obviously, the special three most of the time. You're really just using him for raid damage, <laughs> right? Yes, you're using him for raid damage, but he's also really fun to use. He's super smooth. He works. You can connect your special three with your combo attacks if you're in the corner. This card, Koam, is a great card. Ko-Am is a solid card through and through. My boy Deathstroke, I'm conflicted as hell with this card. This card is good, but he's also just bad. Like, really bad. Like, just, un just unable to use him bad. Like, I like his special too. I like that he can knock down the opponent's health. He's like a good raid character, whatever. It's just that, oh, that playset though. That playset really hurts. Like, just using this character just hurts me. It really does hurt me. And you know what hurts me the most? Is that I was looking forward to this card, which actually really hurts me the most because I love Deathstroke. I love him. And I'm not even done yet. His swipe backs and his swipe shits are just so bad. Like, look, let me just show you guys how his tag and attacks work, okay? We're going to connect a tag and attack right here. So just, just watch this. What is that delay? That delay is disgusting. That you might be like, oh, Mirza, but you actually landed it. Bro, there's going to be some situations where you're not going to land that at all because the opponent can just activate the special three or they can just straight up block your string, which is so bad. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I think hands down, I think Deathstroke has to have one of the worst playsets in this entire game, which I, sh I, didn't, I didn't even think it would ever be possible for a legendary card to ever be as bad of a place that has Brainiac, for example. So is it safe to say that this is like the best legendary card to ever come out? No, not at all. He's not a revolutionary like legendary card. Look at that. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw that. I was in a combo string. I was in a literal combo string. What the hell is this character? I know I've said this, but it, it truly boggles my mind how this character like legit literally went through testing and optimization all right, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but developers actually have to work on a character or characters to get out for the next update, right? Y'all know this, right? Like, developers have to actually add the character into the game, add the costume design, animate the character, uh, implement, like, the playset, all that stuff, right? I can't believe that someone was working on this card and actually went through the process, the really hard process for a lot of people, planned out the passives implemented the specials all that stuff right i can't believe they did all of that they legit looked at the gameplay for a legendary deathstroke and they said yeah this is perfectly fine i see no problem with this at this point i feel like some fans should become developers for this game bro because i feel like they know more about this game than the actual developers do for this game bro it's it's shocking it is shocking to me how this character can be released so late into the game. Like, Injustice 2 has some great characters. The fact that they missed so hard with this. And I never even got to mention the fact that this guy is a legendary character, which we practically get every fucking update. Yeah, so just add... Just add the fact that he's a legendary character. That's just the cherry on top, honestly. The cherry on top is that he's a legendary character. Now, you would think being a legendary card, he would have just like a higher esteemed profile, right? And obviously, you know, there are some legendary cards who have some garbage playsets, but damn, no one, no one liked Deathstroke, though. No one truly liked Deathstroke. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. 
Uh, it's going to be in the description down below. The Discord server will also be in the description down below. That's it. I'll tell you guys later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.